Hello, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I almost said Thursday. Same letter, but different day. Uh, we are here for Art Your Heart Out. Thank goodness. It's another week of watercolor. This week, we are going to be painting an adorable ice skating penguin. Uh, and I got a surprise for you because we need two things that were not in the list I gave you. <laughs> but it's easy because it's a pencil and an eraser. Uh, so just to go over supplies and get anything that maybe you forgot to collect, you need a pencil, you need an eraser. Um, if you have a thin tipped black marker, that would be amazing. Um, you want to get your two cups of water. And watercolor pencil. Oh, hey, yes. Uh, what's it called? Paintbrush. There it is. And you want your paints and you want paper towels. I just bring the whole roll over because I'm a mess. But you know, if you are not as messy, maybe you only need a few. Um, and you also want, I like to show it, but I know what I'm gonna say. Come on, your watercolor paper. This was a fun reveal. And let's see. I forget to say anything. <laughs> nope, I think we did it. So if you are all ready to start drawing, go ahead and hold up your pencil for me so I know that you have all your supplies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's fun to see uh, what pencils everyone has. Like, I can't believe I have a flag pencil. This has got to be from like 1980. Like this, this probably traveled all the way from my parents' house <laughs> over to here many, many years ago. Went with me through college and I never even realized I had a flag pencil. Okay, give me one more wave of that pencil because I feel like I didn't see a lot of them before. If you're ready. That's the way. I like that we got some twirlers in here. We can have a little pencil parade. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm here every other week. <laughs> okay. I feel like that's a lot I'm of just pencil. loving watching the pencil situation. Right? <laughs> a good time. Okay, I feel like I see a lot more. I saw a lot more pencils this time. I just got my so, pencil sharpens. Huh? I just got my pencil sharpens. Oh, right. nice. I should have done that. I'm not gonna lie. Mine's a little stubby. Pencils get stubby so fast. It's unbelievable. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to have your paper, your pencil, and your eraser ready. Those are the first things we're gonna need because we're gonna draw this cutie first. So again, we're making a penguin who's ice skating. He's just a cute little cartoon guy. So I'm gonna change your view here. So you can kind of see my paper while we go along and do this. So the first thing that you wanna do is we're gonna draw kind of a long, a long sort of ovally egg shape up top. And we're gonna give it a flat bottom. So. Oh, and one thing I didn't mention this time, I usually remember to mention it. Um, here's your shape. This is your penguin's body. But one thing I didn't mention, I usually like to mention is that uh, since you're drawing on your watercolor paper, you wanna make sure that you draw really lightly. I'm drawing dark on regular paper right now um, so that you can see it. But on your paper, you're gonna to wanna to draw it really lightly so that the pencil doesn't show through your watercolor paint. So when you've got your little, your little penguin egg body Go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
it's so funny how drawings start out versus how they end up. Like, would you ever look at this and be like, well, yes, that is a penguin. Not yet, but you will. Transformation Tuesday. That's what this is. That is the funniest thing. Oh, there's people in the waiting room. Jack, you gotta help. Sorry, I was answering emails. <laughs> There's two more coming, Katie, that just got here that were in the waiting room from emails I sent. Okay. Hello. So if you're just getting here, today we are going to be making a penguin who is ice skating. Um, the supply list is in the chat if you wanna check up on that. But right now we're just using a pencil and our eraser and our watercolor paper because we wanna draw our penguin first. And I just started off by drawing this kind of weird egg shape with a flat bottom. That's going to be our penguin body. Black head. It's all in one. It's a two for one. Is this good? I got to find you. I'm coming for you. That's perfect. Yay. That's going to be a baby penguin. <laughs> yep. <laughs> waddle waddle. Can there okay. be music while we paint? Uh sure. Jack wants to find us. When, well, it's gonna be when we're not doing a lot of instructions, then we'll put it on because we don't want to distract. Yeah. Uh so when you're done with your body shape, with your head body shape, go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I know. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Is this good? Ooh, I gotta find you. Right here. <laughs> uh, see, lift it up a little bit higher. I can't quite see you, so you gotta lift it up a little bit higher. Nice, it's beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Any nice little oval eggy shape with the flattish bottom. What a vocabulary I have. I'm sure we'll learn lots of new words today that you won't find in the dictionary. We always do. Katie lingo. <laughs> Okay, I'm checking in again. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready for the next step. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, I feel like I got a fair amount of thumbs that time, so. Let's do the next thing. So the next step is going to be giving this guy a hat, right? So I'm going to give him like a big sort of knitted hat. If you want to give your penguin a different kind of hat, you go right on ahead and do that. But this is how you can draw a big knitted hat if you want to go with that vibe. So first, it's just going to be a long kind of skinny rectangle going across the penguin's forehead. Just like that. And it's okay if, you know, his head's showing through your hat lines right now. That's what we have the eraser for. So don't need to worry about that. Just go ahead and draw the bottom part of the hat right over that forehead. And then once you draw your long rectangle, you can go ahead 
and erase the top part of his head that's poking up over the hat. You don't need that line. Oh, what was that? So when you draw your rectangle across the forehead, you can go back oh. and erase the part of the head that goes beyond the hat. Okay. Yeah, and then you see this little extra line here too? I'm gonna erase that too, because I don't need that anymore. Boop. Same thing on the other side. Boop. Is this good? Let me find, yeah. That's wonderful. Yay. Okay, so when you have your rectangle and you've erased your extra little lines, go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I know. Okay, Katie, I just sent a quick blast. So we may get a couple more, but okay. <laughs> I'm feeling guilty. <laughs> Is this good? Can I lift it up higher? Easy Wonderful. Enough. Oh, you can see my chin. <laughs> 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 Looking good. Thank you. How does this look? Let me find you, Rolly. Like I have to lift my camera. Wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna check in again. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready for the next step. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I see Momo, I see Winston, I see Rolly, I see Cindy and Amanda, Shannon, Kiyoshi, Miguel showed me his, Gabby showed me hers. Uh-huh, uh-huh. see Sean giving me a thumbs up. I'm assuming whatever was put in the chat was a thumbs up. <laughs> the preview just shows me a box. Okay. Does anybody need more time? All right. So the next step is going to be the bigger flowy part of the hat. So I'm going to draw one swoopy top line. He's ice skating. So it's like, it's like flowing in the breeze, you know, and I'm going to finish off the bottom part like that. It's flowing behind him as he skates across the ice. And as we're drawing our penguins, it could be fun to think about what you're gonna name your penguin. Every penguin deserves a name. Katie, which way is the hat supposed to go? Uh, the hat can flow whichever direction you want it to. Mine is flowing to the right of the penguin. Katie, okay, is you. this good? Let me find you, girl. Now, one thing to think about for the hat is if you want some extra fun details on your hat, like polka dots or stripes or anything like that, then you can go ahead and add those in. On the tip of the hat, um, if you want to do like 
if you want it here, I'll do it off to the side. If you wanted to do like a big poof ball in the end, like a Santa hat, you could totally do that. Or, um, or if you don't want it to have anything on the end, that's cool too. I think I'm going to add something on the end of mine, but it's going to be tassels kind of like this. So I'm just going to paint it in. I'm not going to bother drawing it. But if you want to add little details like that, or if you wanted to put polka dots on, that could be fun. I'll just toss them on here real quick. Yeah. Or you could totally leave it blank. You can do no wrong on the penguin. And what are the circles for? Those are just polka dots. You don't have to do it. It's totally optional. I was just showing that you can put any details on the hat that you want. If you want to do stripes or polka dots or little hearts, whatever you want. Or you could just have it be a solid color. And remember, we're drawing really lightly with our pencil because we don't want it to show through the paint later. All right. Real quick interruption. There's someone here named Kat. We need to know who you are. Who are you? Can someone named Kat please identify yourself? All we can see is your ceiling. <laughs> Go ahead, Katie. Okay. All right. So if you are done drawing your hat and you're ready for the next instruction, go ahead and give me that thumbs up so I know where we're at. If you're done with your hat, ready for the next thing, give me that thumbs up. Mm -hmm. I see Momo. There's some stars on, on this one. Fun, I love it. I see Amanda giving me thumbs up, Winnie. I see Kiyoshi, Rydell. Sean. Right. I think I'm going to give us just a little bit more time. If you have questions, you can let us know. All right, I'm gonna do one more check-in for the hat. Thumbs up if you're ready for the next step. All 
Uh-huh. Okay. Think. We'll do the next thing then. Okay, so the next part of this penguin is when you imagine a penguin, you know how most of a penguin is black, but they have these white bellies, right? And kind of like white on their faces, depending on the type of penguin. So we're gonna draw that white section of the penguin. That's what we're gonna do next. Now. To draw the top section, or to draw the top line of this, you can think of it like when you're drawing birds in the background. So you know when you're just drawing birds in a sky and it's like this? That's kind of how the top of this section is gonna be. So it's gonna be one swoopy and a second swoopy. Just like one of those birds in the background of a picture. Then you extend those lines down the body. And then you connect them at the bottom. So now you've got that white section of the penguin. Is this good? Let me find you. It's so cute, Gabby. <laughs> I love it. I'm so excited to see all these. Looking so cute. Wow. Shauna's got an art partner. <laughs> nice, Rydell. Thank you. All right, so give me that good old thumbs up if you're ready for the next step. Mm -hmm. Nice, Winnie. Ooh, I got one. Thank you. <laughs> All right, looks like we might be good for the next step. So, so the next step is gonna be pretty small and quick. We gotta give this little penguin a beak because he's a bird. So that can just look like an upside down triangle. And then just above that, you can make two dots for eyes. Oh. Cute. Oh,
And when you're ready for that next step, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, all right. So, nice, Momo. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. So, the next thing we're going to do is give this little penguin a scarf. So, we can always erase lines later, so don't worry about the fact that it's gonna go on top of some things. But first, you wanna draw a line, kind of going downward a little bit across his body. A little bit of a crooked scarf, maybe. And then you can come over and draw your second line. And is it to the right or to the left? Uh, mine is wider on the left and smaller on the right, but you could really do it any way you wanted. Those are the two scarf lines. Is this good? Find you. Boop, boop, ba -da -doo. How's this scarf? Cute, right, Elle? Oh, here, let me Thank find you. you. Do, 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 do. Oh, there you are. There's a lot of close-ups of me in this recording. <laughs> Good thing you're adorable. Y'all, yeah, thanks. So then once you have those first two lines on your scarf that go across the body, you can go in and erase those extra lines that are in the middle of it. That one, we don't need that anymore. And this one, because we want to make sure the scarf Looks like it's on top of the penguin. Now you might have noticed I had us do it smaller on one side than the other side. And that is because this side where it's smaller is the one is the side where the scarf is tied. So it's sort of cinched together a little bit. So to have the scarf tails come out, you can just kind of draw some longer wavy lines coming out, flying behind him, just like his hat. We add a circle just in case it's a knot Sure, if you want to. I love that detail. And just like with the hat, if you want to add any extra little details to your scarf, like stripes or, I don't know, anything, you can go ahead and throw that in there as well. Also totally cool to leave it one color.
All right, if you're ready for the next step and you're done with your scarf, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You'll see a couple heads down, so I'll wait a little bit longer. Does this look good, Katie? Here, let me find you. The eraser kind of has decided to do its own thing and make everything black. Oh, gotcha. Well, luckily, most of the penguin is going to be black anyway. Uh, but you could also try using a different eraser. And then um, my sister's house, and she looked for a very long time for this one pencil. Oh, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. We could just use darker colors when we're painting. Because okay. I tried to do this one too, but this isn't a watercolor paper. Gotcha. Gotcha. So I'm like, well, I guess I could always do it with pens if I need to. Yep. Yep. We'll work. We'll work with what we got, right? That's where the creativity comes in. Yes. Okay, show me that thumbs up if you're ready for the next step. Doing another check-in. Nice. Uh-huh. Okay, I think we're good then for the next step. Uh, really quick, Jen. Did you let her man in? I don't know. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, yes, because she'll catch up. I'll Can talk. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so the next step is we gotta give this little penguin arms, right? It's gotta keep that balance on the ice. So for arms, it's kind of just like a swoopy triangle. So I'm gonna swoop down for the top part of the arm and swoop back for the other side. So this is the first arm. I'm gonna interrupt you while you're showing your picture. So Hermione, I know you just got here, babe, um, but I also know you're a pretty good artiste. So Katie's just been penciling this penguin drawing. So just like stare at it every time she shows it and I know you can do it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late ahead, um, other stuff. All right, and then when you're done with that arm, you can go in and erase this extra line here because we want that arm to be on top. So there doesn't need to be a line over it from the belly. And then the other arm is gonna be very similar. If you want, you can draw the other arm going in so that his hands are like kind of coming together a little bit. I'm going to do the other arm going out because if you make it going out, he could be holding something if you want. And I think that's kind of fun. Oh, Jen! You wait? Oh, Jen's not there. I'm here. Yeah. Yes, friends. You are going to want this penguin. He's going to be so cute. Are you going to mail it to me? No. What? You just basically offered. What the heck? No, 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 no. This penguin's mine. So you just want me to be jealous? 
<laughs> I thought we were friends. <laughs> we are. This penguin is too cute. Mm, you have to take a picture. <laughs> All right. Give me a thumbs up if you have those arms done. This, this feels like he could be waving, right? Yeah, he could totally be waving. He could be waving. Or if you put the arms in, he could be holding his belly and laughing. Uh, or maybe he's huddled up because he's cold. Yeah. I like penguins. Right? They're so cute. Mm -hmm. They make excellent winter treats. They are definitely more prepared than, for winter than I am. Every year, those darn penguins. More prepared than me. <laughs> hmm. All right. Um, show me those thumbs up again. If you're done with the arms, I feel like I didn't see many. Which might be because we need more time, which is also okay. All right, I see more this time. Mm hmm. Okay. So the next step is going to be legs. This is my favorite step. Are you ready for this? It's very complicated. Pay very close attention. Boop. Boop. That's the most complicated thing we've done, right? Yep. <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty hard. <laughs> pretty advanced, I know. <laughs> Technical skills. Exactly. But I know you can do it. I know you're all up for this challenge of legs. I'm just watching Hermanda, like, so seriously trying to catch up. And I know she's doing it. I know she is. <laughs> She's so serious. <laughs> well, I did. If it's helpful for Miranda, I, I texted you a picture of my practice drawing. So. <laughs> oh. You probably have her old phone number, though. I, I actually have the new one, I'm pretty sure. Oh, OK, good. I just updated it. All right. Now, of course, on the end of these legs, we're ice skating. So we're going to need some ice skates. Now, don't be intimidated by the ice skates, because just like everything else, it's just some lines. It's just some lines. Well, let's get into it, shall we? So you draw a flat line under each leg like that. And then after, well, I'll do one at a time so you can see it twice. So you draw a flat line under the leg. And then you do a straight line down. And a straight line across. And then you connect the front of the shoe with a swoopy line like that. So we've got that straight line across, one line down, another line across. Almost looks like you're going to make a rectangle, but then instead you surprise them all and do a swoopy line. Okay, here we go. Here, I'll walk through it again over here just in case somebody missed it. So you have your leg, this is your leg. And at the bottom of the leg, you draw a straight line. Here, I'll try to do it upside down for you. <laughs> here's your leg, here's your straight line. That's the top of the shoe. 
Then for the heel of the shoe, you just draw a straight line down. And then you do a straight line across for the bottom of the shoe. And your bottom line is longer than your top line. And then you connect it with a swoop. That's a really long one, but you get it. I'll give this one a partner. Leg, top of the shoe, back of the shoe, bottom of, oops, bottom of the shoe, swoop, And right now they just look like regular shoes, right? Now to make them ice skates, you just need three more lines. You put two lines coming off the bottom like spikes. Two little spike shoes or spikes on your shoe. And then you connect them with your swoopy, swoopy bottom blade. I'll do it again on this one. Two spikes off the bottom of the shoe. And then you connect them with a blade, which is just your third line. I'll do it on these, on these extra ones over here too. Two spikes connected by a swoop and two spikes connected by a swoop. These little penguins have pizzazz, am I right? They're doing the disco. <laughs> Cute, Maurice. Hi. How's this? I got a scroll to ya. Higher. There you go. Cute. Thank you. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you are done with your skates. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. All right, seems like we are good on the skates. Okay, so now. It's time for paint. So I had that on drawing paper so that you'd be able to see it. Because my outline on my watercolor paper, you can't even see it. Okay. So, oops. Oh, actually, I forgot one more thing about your penguin for drawing. If you want, um, you totally don't have to, but just a fun option. If you are still feeling, you know, the Christmas spirit or whatever, you can have your penguin holding something like a little ornament or something. So if you want him to hold an ornament, it's a circle. It could be a snowball. It could be a snowball. I love that. Yeah. It could be a snowball. It could be, you could make him holding a candy cane. You can hold anything. My penguin you want. looks like it's holding an egg. <laughs> Maybe he is. Candy cane. He's a big brother. <laughs> and then on top of the circle, you just put a little rectangle. Well, could he be holding a bell? Like the one from the Polar Express? Absolutely. You can hold whatever you want. He could be holding a pizza slice. 
I want to hold a pizza slice so I can eat it. <laughs> and then you kind of just do the shape of a question mark on top. And then it's a hook. So it's like a question mark without the, uh, without the dot. Just a little hook. <laughs> Some legs over to the side are making me laugh. Who's behind him? Maybe a bell is could be hard to do. It could be a challenge. Um, is it? Do you mean like, like this kind of bell, where it's like, where it has a, or do you mean like the round kind of bell? Round kind of bell. Mm, yeah. Usually like the one from from Polar Express, actually. Yeah. Now, a round bell will be a bit of a challenge on this one, but I believe in you. Yeah. I'll just bet a candy cane. That's good too, that's good too. Okay. All right, give me a thumbs up if you're done with your object, if you want to do one. I'm ready for the next step, which is painting. Still see some Are you using a big paintbrush or a small paintbrush? Um, I'm gonna use. I Are we outlining the it's a pen with a thin marker? You can color it with markers if you want. Oh, are you talking about the um, the thin tipped black marker? That's yes. Last, that's for the last step. Um, but just for reference, this is the paintbrush I'm gonna use. It's this size. I don't know if that helps. If it's like. This size compared to my hand. Which one's the best? Um, it kind of just depends on your preference. I also have this one next to me in case I want it, but I mean, you can make lots of different sizes work for this, you know? It also kind of depends on how big you drew your penguin. I drew a small one. Yeah, mine's pretty small too. So if you have options, I'd recommend going for a smaller size. If you're, uh, if you're if your paint brushes have numbers on them, um, they mine, don't. They don't. Okay, I was gonna say mine's a four. If that's helpful. Oh, I see it. Yeah, so I'm using a four. If that's helpful. I would say a four or a six are pretty good for this one. This depends on how big your penguin is. All right. I have two fours. Well, then I guess you got options. Okay. So, switch to my... Which people wanted this one? Uh, I mean, I don't really know what the difference is from here, darling. Okay. Katie, I have a question. Yes. So, um, I'm caught up with you. Love it. Except for the dots in the hat. Oh, yeah, that's totally optional. Those are just polka dots. So, like, if you wanted to put a detail in there, like Momo put stars on his hat. I drew polka dots on that one. You could put stripes, anything you want. Or you could leave it plain. Okay. Uh, and same thing for the scarf, too, if you want to put, like, extra detail on the scarf or something. Okay. 
right. So for the painting, we are gonna start with the hat. So a couple of color reminders when we're painting uh, is that you always wanna rinse out your brush between colors. So like if I'm using blue, I wanna rinse off my brush before I dip into the red because we don't want, um, we don't wanna get the different colors uh, into each other on here. They can mix on your paper, but you don't really want them to mix um, in, your, in your palette. Uh, and if you feel like your paint isn't moving around very much, try using a little bit more water. And if you feel like it's going everywhere, then try using less water and more paint. Okay. Good. Good. Sorry, uh, sorry for interruption. Uh, no worries. Could we, could we first try inking the, the pencil line so we could do it yeah, before if, the... If you feel like your pencil lines are too dark um, and are gonna show through on your paint or through your paint, then go ahead and take your eraser and lighten them up a bit. You don't wanna erase them all the way because you wanna be able to follow along. But um, if you feel like they're, you know, if they're as dark as this, then you'll probably want to lighten up, lighten them up a bit. So you can just gently rub your eraser on it so that it's a little bit lighter. And then trace them with the pen, pen ink? No, we're not using that till the very, very end. Oh, okay. If we were going to do that, then we could just leave the pencil lines. Okay. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna paint is the hat. Um, and you can do this in any color that you want. I think, I think I'm gonna do my hat in, I think I'm gonna do the bottom of my hat in green. So I'm just dipping my brush in the water, getting it in some of the green paint. and painting in that rectangle. Now remember, your hat might be a little bit different than mine. Maybe you did a top hat, maybe you put polka dots or stripes in your hat or stars or anything like that. So just keep that in mind when you're listening to my instructions because you might have polka dots to paint that I don't. So we're calling the scar first? Uh, this is the hat. Oh. When you're painting, it's nice to uh, start from the top and move down um, because if you're starting from the bottom and moving up, uh, you're more likely to get your arm all up in your wet paint. And then I'm gonna do the top part of my hat. I think I'm going to make it blue. What are you making blue? Uh, I'm going to make the top part of my hat blue. So I made sort of the brim that's on the penguin's forehead green. But I decided that I want the rest of my hat to be blue. Now, if you're doing that part of your hat a different color than the brim like I am, you wanna make sure that the brim of your hat, the first color you put down is dry 
before you put another color next to it. Otherwise, they'll bleed together. Yeah, I'm just making my, I'm just going to make my hat red because I like a Santa Claus hat. Perfect. That's fun. You can put a big poof ball at the end. Classic. And again, if you've got stars or polka dots or anything on there, you can be using this time to paint those in as well. I just don't have any on this one. I didn't have any details on my hat, so I'm just adding them in now while you guys fill in yours. I'm just putting little stripes on the brim. How long does it take for the watercolor to dry? Uh, it depends on how much water you used um, and your paper. So it's hard for me to give you an exact amount of time, but if you feel like, if you feel, oh, okay, you know what? A good way to tell is if it's still shiny. If it's still shiny, then it's still wet. But if it's not shiny, you can go ahead and just test it with your finger real quick and make sure it's not wet because it's probably not. All right, give me a thumbs up if you're ready to move on from the hat. Uh huh, uh huh. I decided to leave the, this part blank because it's like white, so. Oh, yeah, the belly? Yeah. What? Oh, oh, you're talking about for your Santa hat? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. And if you want, when we, when we use the pen later, I'll show you, I'll tell you how you can, you can use that on your Santa hat. You can just outline the white parts. Okay. If you can want. Can you dab at it to get it to dry faster? Um, if, so one thing you can do if you feel like there's a puddle of water that you want to get rid of is you can dry off your paintbrush 
and it doesn't, you know, it can still be damp, but just like gently squeeze the water out of it over your water cup. And then if you just stick the tip of your paintbrush in the puddle of water, it'll soak up the water. That being said, okay. that being said, it will also take away some of the color. So it might be uh, a, not as dark as it was before, but you can always go back in for another layer. Um, and if you're like me and you wanted tassels at the end of your hat, um, but you just wanted to paint them in instead of drawing it, uh, now's a good time to throw that in there too. I totally forgot about the tassels. So I'm just gonna, I want my tassels to be green. So I'm gonna dip into that. And all I'm gonna do is make little strokes, little paint strokes that are different lengths, just kind of pulling off from the tip of the hat. Just a bunch of little strokes so it looks fuzzy. See if you can see that better. There you go. Ah, uh, nice. Thank you. All right. So give me that thumbs up if you're done with your hat. Checking in again. Line. Nice, Mama. That looked good. Oh, thanks. Okay, so when you're done with your hat, you can move on to your scarf. And again, your scarf can be any color you like. And just like the hat, yours might have, you know, designs that mine doesn't have. Totally cool. Paint them whatever color you like, however you want the design. I think I'm going to make my scarf this like fun kind of orangey red just because I can. We can paint ours light blue, right? Absolutely. Any color you want. All right. I didn't invite any color police here to die. What do those guys even look like, the color police? Do they just wear black and white? Probably. Boring.
Ta-da! I heard a ta-da. I'm looking. No, I'm just, no, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, just showing it to Jin. Let me find you, Rydell. There you are. Show me your picture again. I missed it. Oh, look how cute. I love it. I love your color choices. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, my mentor will love it. I bet. It's for a part of her birthday thingy. Oh, that's a nice present. Everybody loves a handmade present. Yeah. Now, totally optional thing you can do with the scarf, much like the tassels on the hat. I want my scarf to have some little some little bits coming off. You know how scarves have, you know, the tassels, these things. You know what I'm saying? So in order to do that, um, it's just the same thing that I did for the hat. It's just little, little quick lines. Whoa, that's thick, okay. It's okay, improv. Now I'm just gonna extend the edge of the scarf because that was not a small line. <laughs> Art is all about improv for those types of moments. So I'm gonna skip over to this end do what I actually wanted to do. Just little lines. I don't know how well you can see that. There you go. Oh, that does not show up on camera well. I promise that little. Okay. I <laughs> see it, little Frenchies. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's adorable. Thanks. Everybody working so hard. Yeah. All these hard working artists. I almost did a check in, but then I looked up and saw all these tops of heads, and I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Everyone's so serious.
The penguin is black, right? Uh, yes. I'm going to be painting, he'll be black and white on mine. But that being said, honestly, I mean, again, this is art. It's your painting. Your penguin can be whatever color you want him to be. Oh, OK. And it's the outside, right? Mm -hmm. Um. But I do recommend painting in the in the order that we're gonna paint in here, because okay. it, it makes um, I kind of I kind of have it laid out so that the it'll be it'll flow with our timing of the paint drying, if that makes sense. Okay. So like we did the hat and then we did the scarf because they're not touching. Um, so it didn't matter if the hat was dry before you did the scarf. So then do we do the white part next? Uh, no, we're not going to paint the white part uh, unless you want to paint it a different color. Next, we're going to do skates. So you guys want to give me a thumbs up? You ready? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do skates. So, oh, actually, haha. <laughs> If you already started your skates, that's totally fine. If you didn't start your skates, I'm actually going to redirect you to the little object you have your penguin holding. Um, and go ahead and paint that. I think I'm going to make my little ornament purple. Can I just keep the egg white? <laughs> yes, you can. Or if you want, you could make it like a light brown. If you mix a little bit of brown paint with um, quite a bit of water, you could get a nice little like tan shade. But you can also leave it white. Totally up to you. I had already did the skates. Well, alrighty then. Do you have your? Do you, does he have an object that's painted? Yeah. I mean, what? if you've painted everything but the body, go ahead. What color should the thing on top of the object be? Uh, oh, the hook? Yeah. No, the uh, thing like that little thing on that's not the hook. Oh, the like the little rectangle? Yeah. Well, when you think about an ornament, um, that's usually the metal part, right? So it's usually either like silver or gold or something like that. So you could do like a gray or a tan. Um, but honestly, you could also just paint it black. It really just depends on how you want it to be. But that's what part of the ornament it is, just for context. And I changed my mind. I'm gonna paint this ornament magenta. So we continue to paint our penguin black, right? Or... Yeah, so if, if, you're, if you're ahead of the game and you've already painted your hat, scarf, um, skates, and objects, then you can go ahead and paint the black part of your penguin. OK, thank you. After your Thank you. 
So cute. After your objects, we can move on to your skates if you haven't already. Can we make a background for the penguin? Because I'm done coloring the penguin. You absolutely can if you want. Um, but just to let you know, I was going to have us do some snowflakes. So you, um, I don't know how to draw snowflakes. Well, I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to draw a little pond around the penguin. It cute. looks so cute. I love that. Hello, uh, hello, Katie. Uh, what, the, what color are you using for the skates? Uh, this is like kind of a goldeny brown because I'm kind of imagining um, like classic leathery skates, you know? Oh. Hmm. But you can paint them whatever color you like, but that is the color I'm using is a brown. It's like a tan gold brownish color. Oh, okay. I see, I see the brown I'm getting right on it. And you can go ahead and leave the blades mm -hmm. if you want, because that'll be easier to do with a pen. That'll be easier for our last detail step. Let me start the squash. And if you're looking for something to do while people are finishing their skate, um, you can go in and paint your beak. I'm gonna do mine yellow, but you could do yours orange, you could do red. Whatever you feel like. All right, give me a thumbs up if you're ready for the body. One. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Two, three. There's so much she knows. It's just us. So once you're ready for the body, you can just go into your black or whatever color you're looking to paint it. And then go for it. Now remember, if you're looking for a classic penguin look, we're not painting that um, middle belly portion. So I'm just going in, I'm starting with the arm here.
Remember, you can always turn your paper if that's helpful. <clears throat> if you're working on a part of it that's at a weird angle for you, you can always turn the paper. Just be mindful um, of any wet paint that you don't want to hit. Katie? Yes, ma'am. Is this how it should look? Here, one second. Yeah. Good. This is my little dude, body painted. Next step will be just to give him those little stick legs, which I'm also just gonna do in black now that my skates are dry. Katie, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. It might be just the paint you have. How do you get the black so dark? I used a lot of paint and not a lot of water. So, oh. um, so like, I put, I just got the black super wet. And then when I dipped into it, I was able to get a lot of paint onto the brush. Um, cause it's all about your water and paint ratio. The mm -hmm. more paint you have, uh, compared to the amount of water, uh, the darker it's going to be, but it also sometimes kind of just depends on your paint that mm -hmm. can make a difference too. Okay. okay. And getting your colors really dark can definitely take some practice. Oh, I got it. But it's just all about that ratio.
All right. So little uh, little details before we do some fun background stuff is if you have that pen, that thin tipped black pen, now's a good time to use it. I'm going to fill in my little dude's eyes with this pen. I think I already did mines. Awesome. You want to see? Sure. Let me find you. Oh, he's so cute. I love it. Thank you. All right. We're gonna see it. Ready to go. Ready to go. <laughs> oh my gosh, my doll is so cute. Oh, Thank you. I like his blue skates. Thanks. It's dark blue and this is light blue. I love it. So cute. I'm going to show it to my mentor. Heck yeah. So I want to see my penguin. Yes. Oh, so Jason, look at him. <laughs> He's so fun. <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking for you. Look at all these bottles that I made. This oh is one like, one pair. And then eat, sleep, and the extreme penguins. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, Jason, you're so great. <laughs> yeah. I posted for like Gunther from the Adventure Time. Oh yeah. Excellent. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the, I was I was a huge fan of that show on Cartoon Network. <laughs> yeah, he was like breaking bottles. <laughs> wow. What? Well, well, Jason, Jason, you are amazing. Sorry, my computer is making that noise. Um, That's I'm okay. Sorry. We just muted it. Thank you. So uh, after you put in your eyes with your pen, which you can also do with paint if you want. I just find it's easier with pen and looks the same since it's black. I'm um, you can move down to your skates and just draw in those little blade lines with your pen. Like, yeah, done. Awesome. Can I see? Mm -hmm. Oh, cute, Shauna. Yeah, find you. Oh, You're I skating on a rainbow. Oh, yes. <laughs> I want to skate on a rainbow. Me I know. <laughs> what a fun thing to skate on. So I'm going to be headed out. Okay. All right. Oh, well, let me take, let me take a picture of you. Hold on. Let me oh, find yeah. you. So once you have your skate lines on there, I'm trying, there was something else I was going to say, but I don't remember what it is. So I guess that's it for the pen. <laughs> um, Here's mine. Adorable. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. the next. Got it. <laughs> Thank you. The Thank last you. thing. Again, totally optional, but I think it's really fun. The last thing is if you want to add in some snowflakes. So I'm going to use a white blue. Kitty, what color is the, the legs in the blades supposed to be? The legs are just black. So if you want to know how the simplest way to do a snowflake ever go ahead and pay pay close attention for a second so what you want to do is you just make a plus sign and then you put an x through your plus sign and you got a snowflake and you can do that in all different sizes however many you want all over your paper, because every snowflake's different. And if you wanna, <laughs> if you Easy. wanna, get, yeah. And if you're feeling adventurous and you want a little extra pizzazz, you can always put that little V shape on the end of your snowflake, but that is totally extra. They're gonna look great with or without that. And you can put them on some and not all of them. Totally up to you. Oh, 
Oh, I remembered what I forgot to say when we had the pen. <laughs> I knew there was another thing. What do shoes have, y'all? Shoelaces. <laughs> okay. So, if you want to pause from your snowflakes and grab your pen one more time. Um, okay, I'll actually show you how to do this on a scrap paper first, just so that I can do it big and a bunch of times for you. So, oh look, I even have a practice skate. So, do you see this? Yeah. I'm going to make a little circle, like a little dot. And from that dot, I'm going to make the two loopies that come from tying your shoes. And then, whoop, the two little tails that come off of it. Look at those la laces. <laughs> yep. Another thing that you can do, if, if you don't like the look of that, another option is you could just do something more abstract and put X's on your laces, or for your laces, you see that? Hmm. That also will make it look like laces. You could also do both if you wanted to like, so this is just X's, this is just a bow, and this is bow with X's. Totally up to you. I just thought of the X's right now, but I think I might actually do that one. Now I'll do both. Who am I kidding? like that. He's so stinking cute. He just looks so like uh, sweet right? and cute. I just want to fly across the ice with him and eat warm mm -hmm. cookies after. <laughs> so fun. Make snow angels and eat sugar plums <laughs> and snuggle. <laughs> So after you finish the laces on your skate, um, it's just snowflakes and that's just however many you want. So it's totally up to you when you're done at this point. I'm like, what time is it? I have no idea. It's a quarter to five. Okay. That's about, that seems about right. Yeah. That checks out. We started late too because, you know, I screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> I always think it's it's a person's civic duty to make a mistake every now and then. Otherwise, it's just not fair to the rest of us. Can't be perfect all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's no fair. True, true. Plus, nobody likes somebody that's perfect. Like, right. it's just annoying. <laughs> it's not relatable. Agreed. <laughs> I'm doing the snowflakes with this ink pen just in case. Oh, that's a good idea too. Yeah, you can totally do your snowflakes with your pen. And the snowflakes is a really fun opportunity. If you're kind of interested in experimenting with your um, water to paint ratio or experimenting with um, how dark or light you can make your colors, the snowflakes are a perfect opportunity for that because you're doing the same thing over and over again, and you can really um, you can really just focus on how dark or light you're able to make it. Kind of a fun little practice experiment.
And when you're done, let us know so we can get a picture of you and your and your beautiful art. But also, I'm wait. done with mine. Oh yay! Also, make sure it's dry before you hold it up, otherwise it might drip. Oh, cute, Amanda. I'm coming for you. Hold on. Oh, it's cute. Okay, okay. Let me make things work. <laughs> I love the rainbows. Cute. Got it. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go now. All right, friend, have a good night. I'm done. Okay, I wanna see it. No, you're not gonna share. Oh, he, oh my God, look at his eyes, Kathy, they're so cute. <laughs> I gotta see it. Oh my gosh, it's I love so it. Cute. <laughs> Eating good in a winter wonderland. <laughs> and the snowflakes. The gin oh, lock. Yeah. Momo, wait, 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 where'd you go? Hold on, you disappeared. <laughs> okay, here you are. Here's Momo. Oh, cute. One, two, three. So cute. Okay, I'm coming for you Sorry. next, Rolly. <laughs> oh, Rolly, it's so cute. Okay, one, two, three. Got it. So cute. Okay, Shannon, coming for you. Oh, look at his yellow hat. I love it. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Good job. <laughs> Jack, I should have been making you take screenshots for me too. Yes. Did you take a picture? Oh so yeah, did you cute. take a picture? Yeah, I got your picture, Rolly. Well, actually do it again so Jack can take it. Gotta go, guys. Bye, right now. We'll see you later, friend. Bye, right now. <laughs> Rolly, hold yours up again. There you go. You got it, Jack? Got it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, everyone. That is your completed penguin. I hope you love it. And that all you want to do is just drink hot cocoa and celebrate your success now. Uh, <laughs> have a wonderful evening. Thanks, Katie. Bye, bye you guys. <laughs>